Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Tales of Legendia, and today we're going to be starting the character quests. Now, I don't know exactly if it's going to start us right into it after we leave this, so let's find out. And it did, so. Introduction, character quest. And this is the one thing I don't like about the character quest section. What? Nothing is voiced aside from cutscenes in a few very minor sections of the game, so. I'm going to be putting half assed voices together for everyone. Shirley, watch out! Get back! No, I'm fighting with you! I'll be careful! Oh, oops. I thought that was Senel. Well. <laughs> oh well. Alright. Here it comes! Um, oh, that's, I forgot what you have to use Shirley now. This is the fun part! Look at how much HP this fucking thing has! When it loads. Look at that! This- All of our random encounter enemies got a buff for the character quest. It's like, oh my god, everything got a lot stronger. I got a bad feeling about this. Beast impact. Oh wait, actually. Let's get rid of Nerfus Crush. We don't need that anymore. Completely forgot about that. Um Okay. Do I still want you? Not not really, honestly, so let's see. What do I want? Where is it actually? Worm Rush. Oh, there it is. Actually, do I want Worm Rush? I'll leave Beast Impact there. So let's see, where was the other move I really liked it's using? Phantom Dragon Dance. Hmm. <laughs> Look at this shit. Come on, I know charge. God, you have way too much HP there, bear. At least you're still, you know, like any other egg bear, you're weak, but... Just, why did everything have to get an HP boost? Ah! Ah, this is gonna suck. Now I don't have an easy way to match all of the audio together. Basically what I was doing is like when audio came out, or like the scripted scenes, I would mute the mic, then unmute it and sort of match my voice with it so I could do that, but... Crap, I don't have that anymore. Ah, whatever. See, I can fight too. Yes, we get to fight it again. Senel behind you. What the? Senel. Yeah, we get to fight it two times. I don't remember. We might actually get to fight it the third time. It has less HP now, but it. Oh. Twin demon beast impact. Okay, never mind. It might have been hitting harder, but I wasn't entirely paying attention to that. Eh, whatever. This time it's gotta be finished. Oh, come on, do we really get... Ah, fuck. It's getting up again? Okay, never mind. Or, wait. Do we fight it? I don't know. If we do, then whatever. Its wounds are healing? Back me up and we'll take it down. Okay. Let's go. Okay, we don't have to fight it a third time. There's no way it can get up after all that. <sighs> that thing just wouldn't give up. 
You know, you don't have to come along with me exterminating monsters just because Will said so. Am I in the way? No, not at all. You've been a big help. Ah, uh, good. <clears throat> but really, don't push yourself. I mean, you've already got your hands full becoming the mediator between the Aurora... Eh. Between the Auraraness and the Fairness. I'm grateful to Will. He gave me this chance to spend some time with you. If that's what he's trying to do, he could at least have given us a different assignment. I'm okay with exterminating monsters. We're helping to prevent people from getting hurt. Surely. I want to do everything I can. I don't want to just wait for things to get better and then regret that I didn't do anything. Oh, this is gonna hurt. kill my throat doing this. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Something weird is happening. That's why all the monsters are so overpowered. Well, not overpowered, but buffed. Did you just see some kind of black mist? I guess I wasn't seeing things, huh? We'd better report this to Will. Let's head back to town. Uh, do I have a water? Yeah. My throat's kind of dry. Ah. That tastes so good. Oh, we have two chests. What do we get? Life bottle. Oh, okay. So I replaced my one life bottle I used on Chloe. I won't complain. Actually, how much money do I have right now? We should go back to the lighthouse. Yeah, Will is waiting for us. I'm trying to give Shirley like a kind of high-pitched voice just because that's how she is and just because that's how she sounds, but oh wait, no, what am I trying to do? Um, strategy. <laughs> Let's do different. Actually, how far am I from the lighthouse? Uh, I'm gonna use a holy bottle just because I don't want to run into everything trying to get back to the lighthouse. And oh my god, are we really all the way out here? God damn, we're really all the way out here. Wait. Um, actually, how far? Oh, okay, wait, we're not... Uh, never mind, we're not that far away. I was about to say, holy shit, we've got a long trek to get back to the lighthouse. Look at this shit, everything gets a buff. Actually, let me... Where are you? Um, what was it again? No... Dragon Blast? Okay, it's that one. God damn it. There's another reason why I would definitely recommend of grinding a little bit before fighting Nerfit. Jesus, let me move, you little prick. Re oh, that's good, Sen. I'll turn around to attack. Uh, I hate the character quest of this the character quest section of this game. It's so tedious and painful. Actually, do you have anything? What do you have equipped, Shirley? <gasps> Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, 
but I want that with Sunnel. I can spam everything! Oh my god. Whew. That is... That is really good. Mmm... What else do we have? Tech... Uh, ice... I have no idea what that is, honestly. Ah... Uh, I guess I'll just put that on you for now. Alright, so let's head back to the lighthouse, now that I have everything kind of equipped. That's where I'm going to want to go for some of the character quests, if I remember. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, now I have to remember where Will's house is here. Fuck. I get lost in where it's speaking. Ah, oh, never mind, I think someone's going to lead it to us. Lead us to him. <clears throat> I don't believe the nerve of that guy. Who does he think he is? I wonder what's bothering Hate Patty. I'm sure it's got something to do with Will. Do you have any idea where Will is? <laughs> do I look like someone who'd know or care? Did something happen between you and Will? He just shows up at Musee's house all of a sudden and says, I've got work to do here. Go outside. Who does he think he is? Well, at least we know where he is now. Patty, would you come with us? No way. All he does is bark orders like he's the boss or something. Who would ever listen to a jerk like that anyway? Hattie, that's not very nice. He's arrogant, he's rude, and he wears glasses. What do glasses have to do with anything? Will's busy too, you know. He's probably just he probably just doesn't have a lot of time to spend with you right now. You've been living here for a little while now. You must have seen how people depend on him. But he's always cold to me. Hey guys, let's go play somewhere. We have to go see Will first. Maybe after that if there's time. You know, Seno, ever since you became a sheriff, you're no fun anymore. I might be hey eh god. I might be helping Will, but that doesn't make me a sheriff. Whatever. I've given up on you already. How about the two of us just play together? Huh? Seno can go visit that jerk by himself. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, it's settled. That's not your decision to make. Come on, Shirley, let's go. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Hey! Seno, you big jerk! What a jerk! <laughs> I feel kind of bad for Hattie. Your voice sounds kind of happy, though. If that's what it sounds like, then maybe I am. Let's get going to Musee's house. Uh, yeah, if you guys are wondering why I'm going to be taking a week-long break for... Well, obviously, you guys are seeing this when I came back, but if you're wondering why I took, like, a week break to get to this. This is kind of why I need to... I'm voicing everything unless you just want me to keep everything completely silent and... Uh, puts a lot of strain on my th throat, so... Let's see, where was Musee's house again, actually? I think it's right up here. Right up here, right? Yep. Ah, fuck. I didn't want to initiate anything yet. <clears throat> oh, you're back. I appreciate your hard work. Shirley, can you spare a moment? It seems Her Excellency wishes to speak with you. Of course. I'll go see her at once. 
<clears throat> Are you sure you're all right with this? Having Shirley act as a diplomat, I mean. You're together in the same city, and yet you don't even have any time to see each other. I'm in a rareness, and Shirley's a fairness. There's nothing we can do to change that. But we can live together. Uh, but we can live alongside each other. That's the kind of world Shirley wants to see. Right now, she wants to do everything she can to make that happen. I couldn't possibly get in her way. And besides, it's what I want too. Then why are you distis eh, God damn it. Then why are you distancing yourselves from each other? Surely it would be beneficial for you two to act together as a bridge. It's Shirley's idea. She says she wants to take care of herself until she's fulfilled her responsibilities. Her responsibilities as a mariness, I presume. It's her decision. I want to support her in that. <laughs> I see you've grown up a little, haven't you? Don't laugh. Sounds like you two are having fun. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Just chatting. What did Muse have to say? It was about the migration we've been discussing for so long. I assume it was accepted, judging from the look on your face. Yes. Now we can call together all the fairness that have been living apart on the mainland. That's great. Yeah. It's all thanks to your hard work, Shirley. Considering all the... Eh. Considering all the enmity that's been festering, one would have thought this to be impossible. It's more than just me. I couldn't do anything if I were working alone. The reason I'm able to stay in where to speak in is because Moritz is overseeing the Fairness Village. <sighs> that was long-winded. And I'm constantly relying on the help of the people here in where to speak in. You should take pride in your accomplishments, Shirley. It'll give you confidence for the future. You're right. I'll keep that in mind. Alright, why don't we get down to business? Tell me how the monster extermination is going. Well, we eliminated the monsters just like you asked, but... But what? Do I have to explain it? The rumors about the monsters growing stronger may be true. You sure you're not just getting soft and enjoying the peace? I don't have time to get soft. I'm always out exterminating monsters. Give me some more details. Well, we killed one. It was dead. I'm sure of it. But then it got back up and attacked us again. That's a little hard to believe. I'd feel the same way if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. I saw it... <clears throat> I saw it too. There's no question about it. And also, after it got back up, it seemed like it was stronger. Are you sure about this? Positive. We also saw something like a black mist coming out of the monster. I'll see what information I can gather as well. I'm sorry, but could I make another request of you? Looks like there won't be any time to play with Harriet. What's up with Harriet? You really should act like a father every now and then. That's what's up. So what is it you need? The ship from the mainland should be reaching the port soon. Could you go and meet Chloe when she arrives? Oh, right. It's already been two months, huh? 
I guess it is time for her to come back. <laughs> Excuse me. And we all promised to get together once Chloe got back to the legacy. Understood. Let's go, Shirley. Ugh, my throat. Ugh, it's killing my throat. Okay. Let's see if we can get to a save point really quick without having to get stuck in anything else. Ah, this is a killer on the throat. This is why I want this break. <laughs> I need it. Thank God there's a save point. So anyways, that's it for today's episode of Let's Play Tales of Legendia. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all tomorrow or whenever for some more Let's Play Tales of Legendia. So until then, I'll see you later, guys.